Freedom Caucus from my home state of Tennessee. Congresswoman, good to see you. I uh, want to get your reaction to the news. Trump is not going to the Trump debate. Are you surprised? One thing I know about debates, Todd, is that if you're the front runner, all you can do is end up hurting yourself. There's nothing to gain if you're 40 points ahead. So why, why do that? Just uh, focus on the things that you have to focus on, like these bogus indictments. Well, I think that's a pretty that's a pretty good word of advice there. Uh, I thought the other interesting part of this story is that he's actually going to be sitting down with Tucker Carlson for an, an interview during the actual Fox News debate. It looks like the ultimate smackdown at, at Fox News. What say you? Ooh, that is a throw down ride, if you know what I mean. And I mean, it is a smack in the face, all right. And uh, man, I, that that's a great idea. Uh, it, pretty good but uh we'll see what happens i'm sure he'll have a great interview with tucker he's very fair and uh he'll bring up things that probably some of the the media outlets won't and of course the the left media the fake news won't ever cover so it'll be good we'll get to hear him in another format but todd uh, i look forward to, to the debate at fox and the interview with tucker I think it's fair to say the Tucker interview will actually be fair and balanced for a change. So there you go. Uh, I want you to take a look at this timeline we hear, we have here, Congresswoman, for uh, President Trump within the next year. So uh, we understand the court dates are all in yellow here. The primaries in light blue. Fannie Willis from Georgia, the DA, proposing a date that is a day before Super Tuesday. Do you think that is a coincidence? Of course not. It's called election interference. If you want the plain and simple about it, Todd, it's it's they're going to do everything they can. I don't know how she's going to get 19 people, uh, you know, in a trial and all these other things done within a short period of time. But but, you know, it's uh, one of those things where they're going to it's blatant and the American people can see right through it. So she's going to do what she's got to do. But, uh, yeah, it, it's absolutely um it's, un it's unacceptable, it's unbelievable, and the American people see it. You know, what's interesting is that it doesn't matter how many times the, the former president's been indicted, his numbers continue to climb in the polls. Now, here's the latest GOP hypothetical. Trump at 55%, DeSantis 17%, and the rest of the contenders uh, below 5%. I'm just curious, why is it that, that Governor DeSantis is not gaining any ground? As a matter of fact, in some polls, he actually appears to be losing ground to Vivek Ramaswamy. Why do you think that is? Well, Vivek takes every interview anybody even uh, asks him to take. You know, if it's radio interviews, TV interviews, and people are getting to to uh, understand you know, where he stands on different issues. And he's reaching out to the younger generation, the generation that understands uh, hip hop and uh, social media. So I can see why he's going up in the polls. And look, it, maybe uh, Governor DeSantis should have waited until 2028 to even make a, a bid at running. But uh, you can't argue that Trump is ahead in what every state, especially every red state, really every state when it comes to the Republican uh, primary. So they've got a long road to hoe. You can put all their uh, numbers together and they still won't equal Trump. You know, I want to go back to Georgia for just a moment. We've had some action from the Republicans there in support of President Trump. Georgia State Senator Colton Moore was on my radio show, and he is now targeting the district attorney, uh, Fannie Willis, an emergency uh, exist, he says, in the affairs of the state requiring a special session to be convened. And uh, one of the things they're going to be looking at is reviewing and, and taking some sort of action against Fannie Willis. You know, it's interesting, Congresswoman, that that state senator, young state Republican, Republican senator in Georgia is doing more than the Speaker of the House and, of course, the Senate Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell. Why, why do you think that is, and what do you think about this young upstart there in Georgia? Well, I admire him. Listen, he's fearless. And what you have to do, you know, I talked to President Trump myself, Todd, and this is what he said. Why are we doing an impeachment inquiry? Speaker Pelosi didn't offer that to me. She just went straight to impeachment, and she had the numbers. I think he's desperately asking us Republicans who are conservative and who support him to say, look, we have a corrupt Department of Justice. 
we have, uh, why don't you just do impeachment? I've said, I've signed, and you know this, Todd, every impeachment article I possibly could for Biden, Mike Orcas, uh, Christopher Ray, A.G. Garland, and even the D.C. Um, you know, attorney. It is unbelievable. Just, just call for the impeachment. The people keep asking us, when are you going to give, put uh, charges on Biden? When, when are you going to charge him? We can't charge him, yes. but we can absolutely bring to light, just like we're doing in the investigations. But my All vote right. is to him now. Congresswoman Diana Harshbarger, thank you. Have a great weekend. Hey, you too. Thank you.